To schedule an appointment that will be recurring every day, every other day, week, month, or year, just schedule a normal appointment, and before you save it, select the recurring feature. So, for example, my homies and I, we want to do ghost hunting every Friday night, beginning on March the 23rd. Double-click on it. Now, as you recall, that when you double-click in the calendar view, it creates an event. So, to convert that to an appointment, let's come down below and uncheck All Day Event, and it's now an appointment. So we get our times. Let's go ahead and type in the subject. It's going to be ghost hunting. And then from this point forward, when it comes to creating that recurring appointment, you just need to come over here to the options group and click on it right there, recurrence. Schedule this item to repeat on a regular basis. Click on it. Going from top to bottom, first of all, when do you want to start? And ghosts aren't awake at 8 a.m. They go to bed. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and you can either type it in if you got your cursor flashing in there, the time, including the AM or PM or do what I'm doing. Scroll down to, let's do 6 PM when we can start setting our equipment up. And then the end time, click on the drop down arrow from the start time from 6 to 6.30 is going to be 30 minutes or 30 minute increments to an hour and so on. Or if you want to get more particular, you can just type in 6.31. In any case, I'm going to go back to 6.30 and a half hour. That's not a ghost investigation. But if you do know the duration of how long you want to spend there, you don't want to mess with the times that we're supposed to end. Let's go ahead and click on the duration and go down and choose a half a day, 12 hours. Select it, updates the end time from the start time, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day. Once you got your time set up, then just come down below and select the recurrence pattern. It can be daily. So it could be every day or every other day by choosing every two days. Or you can just do every weekday, exclude the weekends. Oh, that'd be nice. Have my weekends off. And you can do it weekly where you can occur every week on a Friday or every two weeks on a Friday and a Saturday. You can check as many days as you want to include. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that and go back to one. Or you can do it monthly on the 23rd day of every month or every two months or the 25th day, or you can do the 4th, you get the other options, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, and last, Friday, or Wednesday, Thursday, of every month, or every other month, so you type in 2 for every other month, or you can do it yearly, so you can have it recur every year, or every 2 years or 3 years, on March the 23rd, of course you can change that, on the 4th Friday of March, or choose another month. I'm going to go back to doing it weekly, as I mentioned, every Friday. And then down below, when do you want to start? So it just happens to have it selected on the date that I want to start, Friday, March the 23rd. And if it was some day prior to it, earlier, like the 20th, well, it's not going to schedule an appointment because it's targeted for Friday. So from ticking forward, Tuesday, the next Friday, the earliest Friday that comes after the selected Tuesday is going to be the 23rd. So it'll start scheduling that recurring meeting beginning on the 23rd. So if you feel more comfortable like I do, I'd rather select the 23rd so I can see it right there in the window. But Outlook will figure it out if you're not going back prior to the other Friday or on that Friday. Otherwise, it'll schedule it for Friday the 16th. And then it says, well, from that start date, there's no end date. Oh, that's horrible. Ghost hunting every Friday night for the rest of my life. So how about after how many occurrences? 10? Well, if I select that, then I click on the drop-down arrow. See, starting on the 23rd, that would be 1, 2, 3, 6 is 3, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So May the 25th. Okay. Or you can end it by, click on the drop-down arrow and choose a date, like, hey, school gets out for the kiddies on June the 8th, and I want to spend time with them, so that's what we're going to do. Now watch what happens after I select when to end by. If I want to know how many occurrences that is, then select end after and it updates it and it says from the start date to what you had selected, it's going to be 12 times that you have your ghost hunting appointment. I'm going to come in here and type in 4 and if everything looks grisly, let's go ahead and click OK. And then some things update. You don't get the dates or the times because it's a recurring meeting. If you want to change it, then of course you have to come up here, click on recurrence. Change it here, click OK, or actually remove it. If you just want it to happen one day or across some consecutive days, 
let me just go ahead and click cancel and you can see the reoccurrence here occurs every Friday effective March the 23rd until April the 13th from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. so from Friday night to Saturday morning now you can go ahead and have reminders but ghost hunting that's so fun I don't need reminders I mean boy I look forward to it so I'm gonna go ahead and select none and then click save and close and hey there we go now let's go ahead and scroll down just a bit so we can see it our four recurrence begins the 23rd there's one two three and four and you can see it begins 6 p.m. Friday night on all the Fridays and you can see it's got 12 a.m. on Saturday because well Saturday starts at 12 a.m. and so it continues until 6 a.m. so don't let that throw you that just means that it continues on from this point to 12 a.m. on Saturday because if it said 6 a.m. that'd be a little bit confusing let's see 6 p.m. we go and then 6 a.m. we go again no it continues from 6 p.m. and carries over to right Saturday morning at 12 a.m. bright and early no breaks and of course you can hover over it and get the details there 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. with no reminders now let's go ahead and see what it looks like in these other views like the well, let's do the week or work week it doesn't matter and for the work week remember the default working times are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now we're not going to see it here, at least as you recall, the default working hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And so these are non-working hours where we have ghost hunting going on. So it's Friday the 13th. Well, that's a spooky day to do ghost hunting. And there it is. And you see down below that little circle there, two arrows turning in on themselves. And you can see it also right there in the pop-up. That's the symbol for a recurring appointment that occurs over and over and over again. And you can see over here in the date navigator, it's the work week, it's Monday through Friday. It's not going to include the Saturday, but you can see in bold that we have those appointments scheduled for Friday, carries over to the 14th. That's our last occurrence in our series of ghost hunting, where it began back on the 23rd. Let's go back to the 23rd. This is the week, and it's right there. And then let's come back up here, click on day. And the 19th is selected, so if I want to see it on the 23rd, select it. And there you go, ghost hunting from 6 all the way down to, well, there's the reoccurring symbol there. Arrows turning in on themselves. It's a never-ending hunt. Well, not till after four occurrences. And let's not forget, we're on the Friday. If we go to Saturday, then we have to scroll up to see it because it's Saturday morning from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Now, if at any time you want to make some changes to this, you can be in any view like the day view or go back to the month view and let me go ahead and scroll down just a little bit and if you want to change like instead of starting at 6 p.m. we want to be able to go later because really I don't want to sit there until ghosts start haunting us at 11 p.m. so maybe we can go later at like 7 p.m. so all you have to do is go ahead and double click on any one of these when you double click it's going to give you the option to just edit this one or the entire series so here's the entire series or we can just select this one here, the appointment from Friday night to Saturday morning. So if I do just this one, I click okie dokie, it opens up and I'm like, you know what, that Friday I'm not going to be able to make it until 8.30. So I can come up here, click on the start time drop down arrow and select 8.30. And then it wants to end Saturday to keep the 12 hour spread, 8.30 a.m. And if I'm like, well, I still got to be back in time for my kids when they get up for breakfast. So I'm going to cut that back to, again, 6 a.m. So instead of 12 hours, it's 9 and a half. And you can see it occurs every Friday, effective March the 23rd, April the 13th. And like we saw, let's go ahead and click Save and Close, then watch this. Cool. We broke the series here. We went out of step. So for this one weekend, we can start later at 8.30 p.m. without affecting all the others. Isn't that groovy? Now, if I do decide to go ahead and, well, double click on any one of these and say, you know what, I want it across the board where we can all start ghost hunting at, let's say, 7 p.m. So if I choose the entire series and click OK, then I want to come back up here and click on Recurrence and change the time. And let's do, we can just go ahead and type it in there, 7. Then hit the Tab key and it wants to go to 7 a.m. to keep the duration the same. But no, 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 no. We got to still be out of there. And back to our own homes at 6 a.m., so it's 11 hours. And then click OK. And then it warns you if you change specific appointments in the series, your changes will be canceled and all those appointments will match the series again. So remember, we changed the third occurrence. We said it was going to be 8.30 p.m. Well, guess what? It's going to reset all of them. 
once you pick on the entire series, it's going to make sure that everybody's in lockstep and bring back everybody to the same appointment time when it comes to updating your series. So if I click OK and I click Save and Close, we're out of step now, so I can't come later as I wanted to at 8.30 on April the 6th. Well, you know, you can go ahead and double click on that and go back to just this one and then update it. But know that when you update the entire series, any customizations you made within the series, it'll revert and update it with the others. So we're all the same in that series. And then you get some options if you right click on it besides the quick print, the open, if you want to open the occurrence for the entire series, you can also delete this occurrence or all of them. So if I go ahead and delete this occurrence, there you go. Hey, if I can't come later, then nobody's going ghost hunting that night. And since I'm the only one with the infrared camera who knows how to work it, well, there you go. Can't have the meeting that week. I'm out of town. So you're probably asking yourself, well, if I go ahead and update the series, will it bring back what I just deleted? Double click. The entire series, OK. Click on Recurrence, and let's go back maybe to, well, 6. And then hit the Tab key, and then it wants to go to 5 a.m. Well, we'll also do 6 a.m. And then go ahead and click OK. Then click Save and Close, and it pulls it back in. So any customizations, including deleting an occurrence within the series, we'll just go ahead and reset everything back to the way it was. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.